Do these One Piece characters shave it down there? If I had a dollar for every time I thought about this, I'd have one dollar because the thought never leaves my mind. So in this video, we'll be engaging in a rigorous discourse on whether these 10 One Piece characters shave it down there. There's only one character in the maybe tier. And if you can guess it correctly, then I'll give you some erectile tea. And a tea party is what our first character and my glorious queen, Big Mom, had. So does Lin Lin shave her pink drapes? We gotta analyze this in three dimensions. Because Big Mom is too big for 2D. Trust me, me and Kaido tried fitting 2Ds inside of her and it, it didn't work. As you may know, Big Mom has a giant fupa, which stands for fat upper pelvic area, which means her pelvis is completely encompassed by it. Even if we could recruit Fujitora to anti-gravity her fupa, there would be so much shrubbage there, it would look like a miniature version of her garden. To put it into perspective, Killer would have to run at top speed with his arm blades for an hour straight in order to trim that forest. So Big Mom is getting a doom on her wooming grooming. Personally, I don't mind because her pink wooha is covered by her pink hairs. So it's like an adventure finding her salty canyon before I go cave diving. But instead of diving, Frankie was driving his motorcycle up Big Mom's face. So let's talk about him. Does Frankie fresh fire his blue monster like he burned the blueprints to Pluton? Don't say that shit again. Oh, okay, that, that was creepy. What the hell was that? Anyways, pre time skip Cutty Flam cut down his pubes on the daily. Nico Robin even confirmed this when she grabbed his metallic nuts and searched around for evidence. Not a single hair in sight. You're free to go, Frankie. And Nico Robin, I'd like to turn myself in. Feel free to search around thoroughly and search me as you. Get out! Fast forwarding two years, we learned that Frankie has a gadget for styling his hair. So it's only obvious that Frankie has a similar gadget for his under hair. His favorite style is to make a miniature Frankie from his pubes above his wee wee so it looks like he's packing. And you need hair to style your hair. So Frankie is stylishly moving to the no section. And the next section of this video, we'll talk about King. No, not that King. No, no, no. I never realized how many Kings there were. Perhaps I'll do a video in the future called Kinky King's Cup. But in the past, Lunarians were killed and the only one that survived was Kings. I'll say this about King, he's got some durable ah shrubs. Never heard of pubes that were fireproof, but hey, I guess you live and you learn. But for King, I guess he lived while he burned. Alright, alright, I'm done roasting you. You've had enough of that. So does being fireproof stop King from shaving his pubescent plebeians? Of course it does. Not. King views himself as the perfect race biologically superior to mere humans. So my King King would settle for nothing less than a clean shave. King is deforesting his trees like his name was King of the Wildfire. An Uno wild card lets you change the color to whatever you want, much like Katarina Devon, who can change into whatever she wants. But does she want to shave her black drapes under her slutty waist? Well, to examine a fictional character's genitalia region, you gotta think about this logically, like logic would. Devon is a criminal bad to the bones and as such she rejects societal norms she doesn't care about beauty standards like getting a nose job or cutting her unkept cave woman-esque mane and the same for her hair above her creamy cave it's as furry as a nine-tailed fox fun fact that's also how she styles it in nine different braids but devon is lucky because she can just transform into a character that does have it shaved if she wants to shake it up shake it up now as for the OG, Devon has her welcome mat open for visitors to say OG. Oh, G is the first letter of gun, and that is something Baby 5 can create with her devil fruit. But does Baby 5 use a 5mm guard on her trimmer while she bushwhacks her forest? Perhaps she does, because now that she's married to a Psy Bowl, she wants to be nothing less than perfect for the man who didn't see her as worthless. So you can bet she's turning her hands into chainsaws and cutting down her grass blades till she's smooth as Alveda. Even before she met a sign, she likely kept it clean because her skirt is smaller than our knowledge of the void sentry. Delete that sentence or we'll delete you and everyone you love. What the fuck? You guys saw that, right? I'm not going crazy. Whatever. I'm not scared. I'm not a baby. And baby five has a shaved munge that's cleaner than a baby's butt. Butt spelled backwards is tub, which is where Zoro goes after a drenching workout. But can we work out whether Zoro trims his green grassy blades? Perhaps. There's two schools of thought and one school of rock. The first is that Zoro has a miniature Zen garden with his pubic moss. Not out of this world because Zoro is Japanese and Zen gardens are commonplace for their peace and tranquility. Plus, whenever he pees, his wood releases a waterfall perfectly completing this analogy and this joke. 
it wasn't my best. But you best believe that Zoro shaves his green shag carpet to practice his swordsmanship. Shaving your pubes with a sword is the ultimate test of precision and steady hands. Cause if he messes up around his taint, Enma will be giving him a metal enema. And Zoro is all about the most extreme form of training. So he does this weekly and I can strongly place him as a yes. And yes, Gaimon is the One Piece. But a more pressing question is whether Gaimon shaves his treasure bush. Let's explore this in detail as the answer may surprise yes he does. Sorry, the suspense was killing me. <laughs> but seriously, even if Gaimon wanted to, you can't get past his chastity chest at the end of the story when the Straw Hats freeze. <laughs> They'll also free Gaimon's nether regions. I can't wait to see a perfectly cuboidal greenish blackish shrub covering his lemon tree. But sadly for Gaimon, he'll never get to cut his shrub down. The chest has compressed his hairs into such a dense hedge that it's hardened to the level of armament hockey. If Zoro cut it down, he'd have one sword, like in Low Town. Hey, that rhymed. And it would be a crime not to put Gaimon in no. In no way, shape, or form does it look like Katakuri and Brulee are related. But they are. But let's talk about Katakuri. Sister, Brulee. So does Brulee take after her mom, Big Mom? Or does she shave her lawn? Well, Brulee always felt out of place with her beautiful siblings. Because, uh, how do I say this nicely? She's got a face made for the radio. But she strived to look like her gorgeous siblings. Which is why she does everything she can to look the best she can. She keeps her hair sharp and wears clothes that complement her lack of curves. It's honestly kind of commendable. Because ugly people need to put in the effort. And effort is sexy. So therefore, ugly equals sexy. So remember, next time someone calls you ugly, repeat after me. Sticks and stones can break my boner, but words will never hurt me. And me thinks because Brulee strives for perfection, she uses her mirror madness to trim the hairs in those hard to reach areas. Brulee gets an okay on her VJ hay. And hey, ever stop to wonder what aliens would look like? I think they'd be green, like my green fiend, Bartolo Mayo. Now this one has me a little confuzzled, because I just know that Bartol has a piercing on the words with the letter P, E, I, and S in it. Pelvis, obviously. And to show that off, he needs to keep it clean. But even with the piercing, I can still see Bartol having a lion's mane that's as long as Rapunzel. Got me saying, Lomeo, Lomeo, let down your pubes. Because Bartol is all about rebellion and freedom. And the ultimate sign of deviance is not shaving your nether regions. And if he can't express this right, then what did Joy Boy die for all those years ago? That's quite enough. What the fuck? A surprise elderly orgy? That's the third one this week. No, you gooner. We are the YouTube Gorosei. Oh my god. It's Saint J. Garcia, sad turn, warrior god of no views. Saint Jobman Mars, warrior god of no future. Saint Top man work hurry, warrior god of shitty writing. Saint Ethan Baron no sponsoro, warrior god of broke creators. Saint Shepherd Jew flag Peter, warrior god of demonetization flags. That's right, and we've been keeping tabs on you ever since you released a straw hat corn preference video. But it's not too late. Delete this shit and we'll forgive you. Well, you can call me Sanji. Why, do you like him young? No, because I'll never stop cooking. This is an over Sigma hat. We'll catch you. I'll never stop. I'm sure of it. But I'm not sure about Bartol. So I'll put him as a maybe. Maybe the B movie is top 10 of all time. I'd have it below Pulp Fiction. But above Fantastic Mr. Fox. And a fox who's not fantastic is Foxy. This guy cheats, steals, and has a weird nose. Sounds like my ex. And if you're one of my exes watching this, I didn't mean that you all had normal noses. And who knows if Foxy shaves it down there. I do. So let me explain. As you can see, Foxy's underwear rides up like he got wedgied. But this is actually because he has a huge pelvic area. Like it's 90% pelvis, 10% penis. And that's being generous. Because it's so large, Foxy gives no fox about shaving it. If it gets overgrown, he'll have the loser of the Davy back fight shave his foxy fur instead of trading a crew member. And remembering the last time he shaved is hard for Foxy. So we'll beanbag him in the no zone. And that's every character's no-no zone that we will discuss today. I hope, what, what, what is this? Oh my god, it's my first bounty. 68,999. Man, they really edged me with that reward. And I hope to reward you with more videos like this. So hit that like button and comment if you shave it down there. 
But most importantly, don't forget to s stand with Sigma Hat Pirates in the upcoming war against the YouTube Gorosei and subscribe for more One Piece and anime content. Bye bye!